Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to perform a bare metal backup on Windows Server 2022. A bare metal recovery backup is recommended to prepare for Active Directory recovery because it can be restored to different hardware or a different operating system instance. Using Windows Server Backup, you can perform a bare metal recovery backup of your server. Bare metal backup backs up operating system files and all data except user data on critical volumes. By definition, a BMR backup includes a system state backup. It provides protection when a machine won't start or if the OS hard disk has failure and you have to recover everything on a new hard drive or to a different server. Using bare metal recovery, users can recover their servers without an OS already installed. Bare metal recovery can be helpful to quickly restore your server after a hardware failure, ransomware or restore other machines. In the previous video, we saw the steps on how to schedule automatic backup in Windows Server 2022 domain controller. Link to that video is given in the description. For this demo, we have single domain active directory forest named msftwebcast.com. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. First, we are going to install the Windows Server backup feature on our domain controller. Let's use a Windows PowerShell to install Windows Server Backup feature on this server. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type cmdelete install Windows feature Windows server backup and press Enter to install Windows Server Backup feature. It will take few moments for the installation to complete. The Windows Server Backup feature has now been installed on our server. Type diskmgmt.msc and press Enter. To store the BMR backup data, I have attached a dedicated hard drive. Let's close this and let's go back to Server Manager dashboard. Open the Windows Server Backup utility. Click on Tools and select Windows Server Backup. You have two options, either you can create a scheduled backup for automatic bare metal backup at specific time or you can manually create a bare metal backup right now. In this example, we'll go with the backup schedule. Click on local backup. Right click the local backup and select backup schedule. Click next. Select the type of configuration you want to schedule, full server or custom. This time, we will choose Custom option. Click Next. Add Select Items for Backup screen. Click Add Items. Select the Bare Metal Recovery checkbox. This will include the system state, the system reserved partitions and the local disk C. You can see that it didn't choose the other drive. If you want to include it in the backup, then you can select the drive manually. Click OK. Then click on Advanced Settings. Go to VSS Settings tab. Select VSS Full Backup and click OK. Click Next to go to the next page. You can set the backup time as you want on this page. Here you have the option to set the scheduled backup to once a day or more than once a day. We will choose to have it start a bare metal backup every night at 11 pm. Let's click on this drop down and select 11 pm from the list. Click next. On this page, you should choose a destination to store the backup data. You can schedule backup to a hard disk, a volume or even a network shared folder. If you have more than one disk on your computer, you can select to backup to the other local disk. For this demo, I have attached a dedicated hard drive to store the backup data. So we will select first option, backup to a hard disk that is dedicated for backups. Click next. Click on show available disk. Choose the available disk and click OK. Again, choose the disk. The backup will be stored to a dedicated empty hard disk, which will be formatted 
and then will be only used to store backups. The disk will not be visible in the Windows Explorer and will only be accessible from the system when needed. Click Next. We are receiving a warning about the same thing. Click Yes to use the selected disk. The Confirmation section displays a summary of the backup settings which we have selected. If you are OK with it, then click Finish to schedule the backup. Click on Finish. Formatting Disk and Creating Schedule. We get the confirmation message that you have successfully created the backup schedule. Click Close to close the window. So as for our backup schedule, we are all set for the backup to start automatically tonight at 11 pm. But we want to manually take the first bare metal backup of our server. To do so, click Backup once. Since already we have created the backup schedule, the first option is now available. So we are going with the option Scheduled Backup Options. Click Next. Finally, click Backup to start the backup process as defined in our backup schedule. Click Backup. As we can see, the backup process has been started successfully. Wait for the backup process to complete. The backup process will take time to complete as we have around 12 GB of data to be backup. So I'm going to pause the video recording and once the backup job is completed, I'll resume the recording. As we can see, the backup process has been completed successfully. Our server's bare metal recovery image is ready. Click on Close. Under Last Backup, click on View Details to view backup information. We can see the timestamp when the last backup was successfully completed. Click OK. Under All Backups, click on View Details. We can confirm that using this backup, bare metal recovery and system state recovery is possible. In the next video, we will see how we can restore a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using bare metal recovery. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.